angle, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. What? Good luck. <laughs> I can't hear you. Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome to Mass Effect. So, I have never actually completed this game, let alone any of the Mass Effect series, which is really surprising because considering I'm a huge, huge, huge Dragon Age fan, I don't know why I never got a chance to like pick up this game and like continue it. I tried like a couple of years ago, but I guess because like the gameplay was a little bit outdated, especially for the first game, I didn't continue it. When this game first came out, I know I was like super busy with school, which is why I never touched it, but I'm so excited to play it now. Now that we have the Legendary Edition, so it's all the games remastered. Now, I don't know how this Let's Play is gonna go, because I know this game's a little bit older, and I'm sure lots of people have played it themselves or watched other people play it already, but I want to see how it does on the channel, even though it is an RPG, but I feel like this is something that I'm gonna really enjoy, so I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Before we begin, however, if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, that is patreon.com slash a girl in a game, you can get early access to episodes such as Mass Effect and also other perks that I do not post here on YouTube. So if that is something you are interested in, please go to patreon.com slash a girl in a game. And I want to thank all the patrons on there. Thank you so much for supporting me every month, including Shinsuke. Thank you, thank you so much for helping me bring all these amazing games on the channel, so I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Hi! Classified information requested. I don't even know, like, the general basis of what's happening in Mass connection. Effect, because I played this long ago, like the first secure hour, so I don't even remember anything. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna create my character. I'm excited. Decrypting. Ew. Data corruption? Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct- I'm corrupted! <laughs> Confirm pre-service history. Ooh, spacer, colonist, earthborn. I don't even- Okay, let's see. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations. As they transfer from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlist at the age of 18. Colonists, you were born and raised in Midor, a small border colony in the Ant Antica? Antican? I don't know how to say that. Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Midor, sla slaughtering your family and friends. Oh my god, you were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you listened in the army a few years later. Earthbound, you were an orphan raised on the streets of great metropolitizing uh, covering earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting in the alliance with military when you turned 18. So it's either like I have like a normal background, a very dark one, or a very sad one. I'm gonna go with Earthborn. I Soul Survivor. Oh, psychological profile. During your service, a mission uh, you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and uh, psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all of those around you fell, and now you are alone and left to tell the tale. So dark! War hero, early in your military career, you find yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast in one basic rule, get the job done. You have been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes you fellow soldiers wary of you. But when you're when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I think I'd be sole survivor. I'm like making like a horrible backstory for my character, but I don't want my shepherd to be cold. If that makes any sense. Confirm military specialization. Soldier, combat specialist dealing with the front lines of fire, uh, firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in use of all weapons, types, and abilities to wear medium armor, and can train using heavy armor. Engineer, uh, tech specialist using a holographic omni tool. They decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment. Disrupt enemy weapons or shields and can heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light and uh, specialize in pistol. Bi uh, biotech specialist. They're upgradable plants and they can use biotech weapons to lift and throw objects. Yo, I can be like freaking Jean Grey. Shield of squad and disable and destroy enemies. Adams only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. 
Infiltrate are combined of combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing disabling enemies in long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinel. Combine a biotech and tech abilities. Technically, they are biotech abilities that advance healing and defend allies, even though they can also disrupt opponents and biotech uh, on or tech attacks. They are more efficient in tech and bionic than the other classes, but they expensive combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon in training. Ooh. Vanguards are biotech warriors. They combine biotechs and uh, weapons to take down opponents, and they're especially deadly in short range. They specialize in pistol and shotgun. You know what? If you know me, in RPGs, I always pick the magic-based kind of character because I love being a mage. That has always been my favorite uh, role. I may go with Vanguard. I feel like this one would be more appropriate for what I want to play as. So I think I'm going to do Confirm that. Confirm facial identification. I'm gonna change her appearance because she's kind of looking like I don't know right now. All right, so this is gonna be my shepherd. What she looks like. I think she looks really cool. I like the scars. I'm actually very impressed at how Bioware managed to fix the editor for <laughs> changing your shepherd because I remember in the original one, they kind of looked ugly. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of like that with Dragon Age 2. So this looks really nice. This is cool. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, this is my shepherd. She is an earthborn soul survivor and a vanguard. I hope this will go well for me. I'm very excited how this will turn out. Let me know in the comments what your shepherd looks like and what their origin reputation and class is because I'm curious to see what everyone else chose. Well, what about shepherd? <whistles> earthborn, but no record of her family. Yeah, they abandoned me. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Damn, why are they talking Every to me like that? <laughs> Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2041, 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient uh, space-faring civilization in the decades that follow. These mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling the travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force to control of the- I didn't finish reading it, but Mass Effect! <laughs> Basically, we went beyond what we know now, which is really cool. And uh, I'm excited because I love sci-fi stuff anyway. I mean... The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? It looks really good, honestly. I like it. I like what they did for this remastered. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Is hot. Well, I have a nice sector. butt, sorry. <laughs> I have to say it. All stations secure for transit. Board is green. Approach run has begun. I like the way my shepherd looks. I I am very happy with it. Going, Thrusters, though. check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Who is that guy? Manus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. 
Yeah, that is the oh, official okay. story. Oh, okay, so he's not but only in part of the crew. The official story. Uh, I agree. You're overreacting. Cut the chatter. Um, let's let's calm down for a bit. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Y'all are so rude. <laughs> okay. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm gonna just agree because I don't know what he's trying to get at. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish So I'm assuming galaxy, we're trying to find another them. Earth. Because reading the descriptions of Earth born, it says it's very populated, which kind of makes sense. I kind of get that. So, I mean, isn't that something we're kind of doing right now to see if people can live on different planets anyway, right? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Okay, I agree Is with the that. Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Okay, I knew something was different, but what's what's wrong? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why not tell me? Or Can anyone? You see a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir? This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Uh -oh. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Okay, so, um... From what I understand, <laughs> the Council and there's like so many different races. The human race is obviously not the only one, clearly not. I wonder how many other races are we gonna talk to, and I know this is gonna cause a conflict, because it already causes a conflict now in real life when you look at it with different countries so can you imagine different species <laughs> why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves you humans don't have the best reputation Some i agree with that selfish yes predictable humans are the worst even dangerous sharing that i don't take offense to that because i agree with him plus we need their scientific expertise they know more about the protheans than we do that is true the beacon's not the only reason i'm here shepherd Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Hmm. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. But I'm damaged, That's why remember? I put your name as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential. Oh, is that your species. your your species see name? What you have to offer to the so rest Spectre, of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Like a like a like a We are an elite rank? group. It's rare to I'm gonna figure all of this out, okay? Specific. I'm just asking questions cuz I'm not that sure. You're human I only care that you can do the job. Okay, I respect that. I like you. That you know that's nice that he doesn't care that I'm human or whatever. Okay. 
All right. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. All right. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Investigate. Okay, let's learn about some things. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. Hmm. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without They vanished? Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. So those mass relays we were the things that we were using to kind of like... Get a jump start when we were flying through space. Got it. But... It, if they're saying they just disappeared out of nowhere and there's no trace of them, why do I feel like it's some sort of like black hole situation? You know how the theory of like when you go through a black hole, it's like opening up to another dimension. What if it was something like that? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. And who would the wrong hands be? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They As might expected. figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. I'm gonna keep asking questions at the beginning until I learn the lore of Mass Effect, so forgive me if I keep, like, asking questions instead of going on with the mission. I just want to understand this world, you know? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The Damn, last thing the right. Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. No wonder the secrecy. Okay, well, just we give go. the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. What? Bring it up on screen. Get down. Um. I thought you said this place was a farming planet. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't see an evac. They came out of nowhere. We need What came out of nowhere? Yo, I have to go over there and fight them, so what is it? What the heck is that? Hand or tentacles. Cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. What is that thing? Does Nihilus know? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. We're not going to talk about what that giant hand thing is in the sky? Hello? Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. What is that? He probably doesn't know. I'm Unless he does, he's just keeping it a secret because apparently everything is a secret around here. But that doesn't look good. Systems. But I guess... If humans aren't the Somebody only ones some that want here, this Captain. planet, right? And maybe the beacon? Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Okay. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? 
I move faster on my own. Uh, wait. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed I wanted him to come with me. I liked it. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, I'm just. I'm not gonna argue. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. What? Good luck. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> we are approaching drop point two. Okay, I'm with Caden, and the other guy was Jenkins, right? Is that his name? A. We look good. Look at my butt. Secured, Commander. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks, bro. Oh God, what happened here? Dude, I don't even freaking know. Okay, I gotta figure out how to play, but. We're just gonna wing it for now, okay? What are those things? Are those like... Uh, oh, my gun can overheat. Yeah, I don't know. They look like marshmallows. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Are you sure? Switch weapons. Oh, and then you can equip everybody's weapons? Yo, get behind a rock or something. Don't be out in the open. Oh my god. I'm scared something's gonna like... <gasps> what the? Is he dead? What? Are you freaking serious? Wait, is he dead? Why did I say get behind a fucking rock? Oh my god! They'll see that he receives a proper service when I didn't even know Jenkins and he freaking died! What is this? Kaden, what the fuck? Oh god, no, I don't like that. Oh, that poor man. He seemed nice though, because he was like, oh god, what happened around here? Oh! Next time, get behind a rock, damn it! Where's this thing? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the sound effect is kind of loud. Let me just turn everything down. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Yo, Nihilus, why didn't you wait for me? I'll Jenkins died! <laughs> what the heck? Oh god, okay. Alright, keep moving. Oh crap. Alright, alright, alright. I don't want to attack these like- Oh! Gas bags by accident. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. Are we going straight, I think? Oh, that's the, the person who was on the message! Who's that? though what the hell okay we gotta help her Ashley Williams Ashley that's your name hey all right we got him gunnery chief Ashley Williams of the 212 he the one who charged your ma'am yeah are you okay are you wounded Williams a few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened? Where's to the rest unit? of your squad? Are they we all tried dead? tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself, first this isn't of all. your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could. I don't want her to could. feel bad, okay? <laughs> the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Is that what that thing we now? just shot? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is closed. Why do they just want this beacon? What the fuck? It might still be there. Okay, join us? We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Uh, oh, I like her, okay. First of all, let me learn some things. What else do you know about the Geth? 
Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with oh, limited AI programming. Oh, that explains the their face, but their they thick thighs. To be a okay. Of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the quarians and Oh, them so exile. it's like a robot that just went well, sentient. That, they just kind of hmm. disappeared behind the Perseus veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they of brought course. us in. Of course, but then there's site. something wrong with that beacon. Then. I don't know much about the beacon Maybe itself. Maybe Captain I heard one Anderson of the is right. It could be like a weapon. Discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. Probably they were they killed. Set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Oh, so Not she hasn't sure seen Nihilus yet. One was a Spectre anyway. Maybe Nihilus if is you saw good. This guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Hey, yo, Kaden, where's your gun? He's on our side. <laughs> Kaden, Sorry. what are you holding? Like I said, no Turians. What the heck? Okay. Move out. Why is Kaden holding no gun, sir? What happened to your? Okay. Oh, this poor guy. Damn, what a terrible way to die. Okay. Throw a grenade. Oh shit. I can throw a grenade. Oh, sick. How do I throw it though? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Okay. Got that, guy. that guy's behind a rock, so I can't really shoot from here. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Sir, if you do not. Oh, my gun is overheating. Ah, I gotta learn how to, like, be careful with that. Alright. I want to see if I can, uh, use my shotgun here. Oh, he was ready for me, too! This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Don't Maybe tell me Nihilus is like a bad camp. guy. Please don't tell me. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. Dude, maybe that's why he was like, let me go ahead. Me. This dude stole everything. How much you want to bet that's what's going on here? Oh my god. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Where? I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Nihilus, where are you? First of all, where are you? Okay, that's on fire. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Oh, so the- Oh, it's Jesus! for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Damn, why they kill him like that? Oh! What is that? Oh, God. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Wait, are those the same people? Huh? Wait, is that real? What's wrong with these people? Why do they look like that? What's wrong with them? Wait, what? Hang on, let me switch my gun. What is wrong with them? They're like zombies. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Uh, some lock object required decryption, so I guess I'm gonna have to hack it, right? Okay, begin manual overdrive. Oh, cool! I like it! It's like a Simon Says kind of thing. That's cool. Hello, sir? You oh, ma'am! Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door! Thank the Maker! That's a Dragon Age reference! Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're what Dr. happened? You're Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. 
Okay, what happened here first? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. What's up with those zombie things, end. though? Did you not then see that? Then went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. You see Nihilus? Where the hell is this guy? <laughs> Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. What? Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit- It's unless unstable. if it's we a different Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Are you sure? Can you tell me anything about- I don't trust people? this guy now! It's What's happening? It's a module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technology. Yeah, but like, what is it that everybody advances. wants so badly? Who are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. I kind of agree oh, wait, with this dude. I know he's freaking out right now, but I kind of agree darkness. with him. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is mm. it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To he's understand reminding no me of... No um. No. Sandal from mad. Dragon Age. I, I don't mean to compare, but that's one left. that's all I could compare I it to. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can show him. No, no, I'm not gonna say that. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel <laughs> Go lie down. No, I actually want to talk to that man. He seems like he'll know something. You know? Oh, this is not good though. So he saw Turian, but is it Nihilus or is it a, a different guy? Oh gosh, what if he's actually gonna betray us? I don't like that. Oh no, there's a different, there's a different one right there. Saren. Oh, he knows him. Nihilus. You scream bad guy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. Yo, Nihilus, don't let your guard bad. down. I feel like this guy's gonna kill him. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Why? Why? We already lost Jenkins, dude! That's what we saw in the thing, right? What the hell is happening in this place? Oh, shit. Are they turning into, like... I don't even know. Look at that! Waiting to blow up next to us, huh? Okay, I'm gonna use a different gun. I don't like this one. God. Oh no, Nihilus! No, he's dead! Commander. Nihilus. Oh! Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm oh, one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. Are you part My of the team? Tal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. So you don't let your guard down! And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. OK, 
okay in the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought no, to the spaceport. No, I'm sad. I actually like Nihilus. He wasn't bad. He was kind of shady, but I kind of liked Saren him. He hopped on the Dude. cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. They didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. What? You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Okay. Dude, come on, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna flame him though. Your you all your co-workers you died. Then you back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? Not freaking slack I off. Save them. Nobody could. It it was horrible. The ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise. This... This sound that bored right into your brain. Noise? That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Okay, we already got everything. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh man, no, Nihilus! Eden Prime will never be the same. Oh shit, my health, hang on, let me back it up. Just snipe these guys. What is that thing? Gareth Trooper? What the? Damn, that guy was kind of like strong. How do I heal myself? That's something I need to figure out too. Okay, hang on. Damn, we lost Jenkins. Well, that was kind of his fault for not going behind a rock. Nihilus lets his guard down and Except he's supposed to be like the best. Destroy the entire colony. What Leave the fuck? no evidence that we were here. What the hell is he doing? Okay, so we're gonna have to fight our way through all the gas. This is not gonna be good. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Oh shit! Hey, we need to find them all and shut them down. I agree. Okay, that's one. You gotta cover my back. Where's the next one? Up there? Oh, it is time! I only have five minutes! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell is that guy shooting at? Oh shit, okay. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just just wing it, we gotta wing it, we gotta wing it. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine! <laughs> ah! Okay, that was my bad. I thought it really could do something there. Mm. Oh my god, these guys are making it worse! Okay, okay, okay. Oh! I gotta get over there! Okay, okay, 
uh, yes. Where's the next one? Where is it? Where's the bomb? Yo, guys, cover me, please. <laughs> Shit, we got three minutes. We gotta get the other one. Wait, is it on the other side of the side? Bro, where is it? Oh, Jesus. Okay, there seems to be two more down there. Oh, shit, bro. Hey, okay. Oh, my God. Ah! What the hell? I was dying just now! No, Ashley, get out of the way! How do I heal myself? Oh, there you go, that's how you heal yourself. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Wasn't the guy levitating? What happened to him? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual work don't let your guard down, technology. please! Unbelievable. Please don't let your guard down. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Kaden. Something must have activated. Kaden, don't Roger touch Normandy, it! Standing by. What's wrong with this guy? Kaden. No! Uh oh. Shep! No, don't touch it. It's too What the hell was that? Um, I don't even know what I was looking at through that hole, but that was definitely a vision of some kind. Is that what. Um. Saren? Is that what his name is? Is that what he saw? Props to Shepard, though, for saving her own, like, crew. Damn, if only we could have done that for Jenkins and we identified the Nihilus. Ship touched down on Damn, Kingdom who's Fire, this? <laughs> the Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Uh, I like how she's not phased by that. <laughs> Whoa. This human must be eliminated. I'm sorry, but she's got some like bazoongas on her. I just had to say that. <laughs> like, good for you, girl. <laughs> Damn, am I all right? What happened? Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Yo, Kane, if your dumbass didn't, like, walk towards it, I wouldn't have touched that thing! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like ass. Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Oh. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have it is your some fault. kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Can I be can I be a little bit mad at Caden? Cause like, what the hell was that, dude? I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Yeah, what if Don't you died? Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find it blew out. Up. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, Physical I'm not mad at fine. you. <laughs> but I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. We had a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Oh god, I like. I, I mean, I don't mm. like. I do, I, I can hear all of it. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. 
How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Yo, Nihilus! I'm still upset Nihilus about this. <laughs> I'm argument. sorry. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Oh, I feel bad about Jenkins, too. Oh, my gosh. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I mean, Loki, it wasn't really our... The, my dude just ran out there without going into cover, so it is kind of his fault. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. Okay, good. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good, I like her. Williams is a good soldier. I like Ashley. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Thanks! Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Hmm. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. <laughs> the beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Yo, it, does, it does, you, how much you want to bet the Council's going to blame me for what happened down there, even though I had no idea what the hell was going on? I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Yeah. Hopefully the Council can see that. I don't think they will. They're going to fucking blame me because I'm human. you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Yeah, Saren's that bastard. Saren's a spectre, One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith... It means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. He doesn't A lot of want humans to overrule Most of them don't do anything Turians? I don't but Saren know. has allied like... himself with the Geth. Uh, I don't know how. I humans know can be reckless, and that could also mean I only know it them leading to, to big trouble. Beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue I don't that know, might tell us what It just seemed like Saren everything terrible that was happening. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I'm gonna be blunt. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? It's Whatever. probably something like that, because if it's leading Saren to the death of humans, but probably. I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Hmm. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Okay, I, I get it. I just have a feeling they're not gonna help us. But, I don't know, I don't know. The, Anderson seems like he's like very optimistic and everything, but bro, I'm not sure, dude. I'm just gonna we bruise him. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I don't think it's gonna I'll work like that. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. Mm. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Let me talk to Kaden. Glad to see you're okay, Command. Command I had to smack you across okay. the face. Losing Jenkins <laughs> was hard on the crew. And I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Are you Are you okay? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never By the way, I don't really know who I'm going to romance in right in tomorrow. this playthrough yet. But I'm still deciding, you okay? Saren from wiping out the whole colony. <sighs> well, you helped somewhat. So I'll I give you that. Without you. We're Marines. We stick together, and I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Sam. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. You just told him to get behind a rock, I was dude. There. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. 
Uh, seems like you've been around. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Yeah, make Most your money. My I get it. Served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Well, that's cool. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I don't have one, <laughs> but how is he supposed to know that? <laughs> I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Should I tell Kaden? I feel like I should tell my companions, especially Kaden and I guess Ashley now because she's a part of it. I feel like she needs her own crew, right? She needs to tell people, not just follow orders from Anderson. Obviously, this is probably going to make him mad, but I feel like I need to tell him. Just to clue him in, just in case we need backup so he's on our side. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience Even with the Even though, council. you know, Kaden's kind of dumb, but whatever. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Okay, just don't pull that stunt again, all right? And then I won't be mad. <laughs> oh, here's Ashley. Let me talk with her. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah, I know. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. No, it, hey, you did. It. She did a good job in surviving uh, the attack on her own. Come on. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Are you okay? Things were pretty rough down there. Can you romance you Ashley? Okay? I feel like she's straight, right? I don't know. I've seen friends. I need to know who I can romance, so please tell me. <laughs> Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. No. But things Especially people who are you, you like not only your co-workers, I imagine your friends too, because you work together. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I'm gonna be nice to my crew because I don't want to be mean to- I'll only be mean if they do something dumb, aka Kaden, but I want to be nice to them in general. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. I think that's important. Thanks, Commander. No problem. Uh, what does Paragon mean? I know that's like the, the side you're leaning on, but I, I want to know the difference between those two because I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, in, in Dragon Age, it was more of like approval of the companions. So whoever uh, was with you on the crew, they would be happy about whatever you did, you know? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <laughs> Yo, oh god, I just feel like this is gonna go horribly wrong for the for us. Because like, what did, what did Nihilus and Anderson say? A lot of people don't like humans. Which, again, I don't blame them because humans are terrible. But I know we're gonna get blamed for this even though we had no control over like what was happening. I don't even know what was going on. Ooh. This looks so pretty. I, I'm actually very impressed with this remastered so far. It looks really nice. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, sizes and everything. <laughs> so touchy, Jester. I'm just saying you need firepower too. <laughs> Damn, all right. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. I love this. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. That's so cool. God, just to think that if this is like a possibility in real life one day, I probably wouldn't be alive when this happens, but I would love to go into space. Anyone else would love to like travel to a different planet or anything like that? Because I would love to do this. This is an outrage! Oh god. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks. Are these like the lead the councils of all the races? What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! Who the hell you is don't this get guy? To make demands of the council, Ambassador. 
Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. This guy seems like a dick! I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. <laughs> they were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, I'm gonna be real with you right now. Um, he's dangerous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidate. So what did I the say? They're gonna fucking believe me. The mission on Eden Prime hey, was a chance you, to buddy. prove you, you could get there. the job done. Oh Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Yeah, thank you. I like Anderson. Then You're we backing me up. Hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, I agree with you, actually. <laughs> Fuck! So rude for what? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Big place. <laughs> Kate, it's just. <laughs> Kate and get kind of gives me himbo vibes. Is that, that is that what he's like giving me off to anyone else? Like, oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the first episode right here. Wow. Okay, I'm really excited to go beyond this point because when I first played this game. I didn't go beyond this, so I don't even know what, what is to be expected or what is gonna happen. I am so excited to finally start the Mass Effect journey and play it on the channel for you guys so I can share my experience with you. I hope you all enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what your shepherd is like, also what you pick, but I have a feeling once we get to the council meeting, they're not gonna believe us. They're probably gonna blame Shepard and make it completely difficult for us, because I know Anderson is on our side. He can't really do much, can he? And that dude assuming he's uh, in charge of the human race because i'm looking at the other um species and they're not human so i, I he's not gonna back us up one uh, one way or another i know he's not anyway if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can become a companion and to know when i upload the next episode of mass effect thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye